think, Mr. Jones, well, we are going to go ahead here and get started. So thank you so much for welcoming everybody as they join us here this morning. I'm so thrilled to uh, join you for our sales masterclass. As most of you know, that this is something we do monthly. And um, we have for over a year, actually, July was a year. So mm -hmm. Um, pushing on a year and a half, actually. So um, I'm really excited about that. Um, but we will be um, slightly tweaking the sales masterclass to start really talking about all the products that are represented in the wheel of opportunity. And I'm, I'm so excited about the opportunity to come together as a family, come together as business partners, and really start learning about the services that we provide. It's not for you to be an expert in all things. Some of us are really going to be um, big, big recruiters. And we need big, big recruiters and big, big teams. And that's the core of our wheel. That's where the opportunity is. That's what recruiting is. But some of, the, some of you also may gravitate and be top group producers, right, where the employee group is. Some of you may uh, gravitate and be top small business sellers. Some of you, um, like many of you on here, will know how to actually work your entire business model or more importantly be able to recruit to the entire business model as we're going through this journey so i'm really excited to start introducing the wheel more and more um in in our company and uh, i know mr jones you said that mr um malloy was on here is that correct that is correct so well mr malloy is our newest millionaire ring earner. I didn't say newest millionaire club member, uh, newest millionaire ring earner. So congratulations, Mr. Malloy. I tell you, it's, it's exciting to see those that actually achieve things that we think could never happen, right? And when you see them achieve those levels, you're like, wow, you know what? It can happen. It's from it's impossible to it's possible. So um Anyway, so congratulations, my friend. I'm so thrilled to to actually um, uh, to be able to give you a big hug in, in Dallas to to really congratulate you. And um, I see Mr. Self is on here with us this morning as well. And I don't know if Mr. Self, if you wanted to say any opening remarks, I'm kind of putting him on the spot. <laughs> to put, um, you know, I would be remiss to actually not recognize another million and a millionaire or million dollar ring earner, Mr. Self. I I do see you, sir. Did you want to say good morning? Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm uh, actually driving up to uh, Pennsylvania to my son Makai's football game, but never uh, pass up an opportunity to learn from the great Melissa Peters. So appreciate you. Thanks for uh, continuing to expand our knowledge and allowing us to grow our businesses to the next level. So uh, congratulations, everyone, for investing your time in, in growing yourself and uh, thereby growing your business. Thank you, Mr. Self. And please drive carefully. And I know that Makai is going to do what he always does. They're going to take charge and win that game today. So thank you. I'm gonna, <laughs> you bet. So family, let's go ahead and get started into our sales masterclass. First and foremost, understand this is traditionally held on the third Saturday of the month. Um, so if you're taking notes in or putting things in your calendar, put that in there. Um, also understand that it's about 90 minutes. The first 60 minutes or so, we'll talk about the actual training and we will interact with you throughout the training with you putting questions in the chat feature. Um, if Mr. Jones, who is going to monitor that chat feature for me, if he sees that he can answer that question right then and there, he will. If he knows that I'll be talking about it here in the uh, further in the training, he'll pass on that knowing that I'll get to that here in a little bit. And then um, if not, if we haven't answered your question, the last 20 or 30 minutes should be reserved for uh, Q&A because we want to hear from you. We want to talk to you directly about uh, what we can do to make your experience and your opportunities stronger. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the new ID Shield experience slide here. As most of you know, uh, we have a few weeks ago started to launch our new ID Shield experience. It's a little scary when change happens. I get it. I understand it. But please also understand that it's very necessary for us to experience change because we can't stay the same if we want to have future opportunities. If we want our personal businesses to grow. If we want our company's business to grow, we have to continue to, to develop. We have to continue to evolve and change. So really excited about this new experience. I want you to kind of think about what's happening right now as construction. 
this is the best way. When I first heard about this, um, I thought, oh gosh, what does this look like? How does this work? I'm not sure I really understand. And it hit me um, just kind of looking at the notes that this is really nothing different than any other construction that we see um, that happens in our lives. And when it hit me, ironically, I was walking through the airport and walking through the airport, I saw a under construction sign. And so we kind of detour, right? Because of that under construction, that's what we need to do so that they can make things uh, different and better, stronger, more beautiful, those types of things. And so I thought this is exactly what we're doing. We are redesigning our experience in, in a, first of all, the design is amazing. It's beautiful. It really is. But more user friendly. It's easier for our members to log into one place and have all things through that one login as opposed to two or three different logins. So the member experience will be stronger, it will be better. And so I want you to really kind of wrap your mind around the fact as we're making these changes and things that are happening, um, it's, it's no different than any of the under construction type things that we experience in our lives. Sometimes we feel like, oh, it's a little inconvenient but actually it's necessary, right, to be able to continue with, with that growth. So I say, you know, please make sure uh, that you understand that once we're finished this under construction phase, we will actually have a stronger, more beautiful, easier app, mobile experience, portal experience for our members. So I'd like to go ahead and start by playing a sizzle video that you all have in your prospect Okay, in your prospect app to be able to review or to send out. So let me go ahead and play this for you. Johnny, let me know if you can um, hear this by thumbs Welcome to the updated ID Shield experience walkthrough. As you can see, the app has been beautifully redesigned. Now with one simple login, it's more convenient and easier to use. Another big plus, all the features are now accessible from the online member portal and the mobile app. But the improvements don't stop there. The identity fraud protection coverage has increased to up to $3 million, and our One Bureau plan will now feature credit monitoring from Experian. Of course, our in-house licensed private investigators, coupled with our unlimited service guarantee and our 24-7 emergency assistance benefits, help set ID Shield apart from all the rest. The home screen is your credit score tracker. Now you can easily navigate to identity protection, your ID Shield inbox, and core features like anti-malware protection, VPN bank grade data encryption, dark web monitoring, password manager, sex offenders in your area monitoring, and more. As well as tips and guidance on things like what to do when you lose your wallet, data breaches, and medical theft. You can change your settings at any time. And remember, after downloading the new mobile app, make sure you set up all your monitoring services so ID Shield will always be working for you. That is a great sizzle video for us, family. I hope that you appreciate that. I hope you like it. I hope you'll use it. Uh, it makes it really clear and completely understandable of the journey of uh, everything we're going to have access to either through our member portal or our mobile experience. And guess what? Today, they'll be identical. In the past, you had to go to maybe the portal for one thing, and then, yeah, then, then you could go to your app. Now everything can be done through your app, just like it can be done through your portal. So super excited about that process because we want to make sure that the members, right, have the best experience. So who right now is able to be part of this migration under construction um, process and effective the 1st of October, who will have this complete new experience? So currently right now it's U United States, our brothers and sisters in Canada, uh, the launch um, will soon to follow here for, for you all as well. And so we really would be unified at that point, which I am super thrilled about because we've had like two different uh, things going on between the United States and Canada members. And once we're able to do this in the near future, uh, we're going to be able to have the same mobile app experience, which is so thrilling. Um, so new members. So right now, all of your new members have this new experience. 
even though it's really launching the 1st of October, because it's under construction, when they come in, they're in. All new members, all existing members, we have started the migration process. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. The great thing also is it supports English and Spanish. What? Yes. So Spanish mem members will just need to go in and set their language preferences to Spanish on the portal and on the mobile app. So for those of you that are working uh, Legal Shield in Espanol or marketing to the Spanish community, it's really good to know that we'll have that language preference accessible for those members, um, especially even if they're bilingual and their first language is Spanish and they're more comfortable in Spanish, it's great to know that we have those preferences right there for, for our members. There we go. So when, well, many of you know, whoops, it's jumped ahead two slides. So many of you know, you were on my launch on the 5th of September. Um, I don't know why this is delaying, um, that we started to slowly migrate this because we wanted to make sure that as we're going through the process, we can catch anything that we can catch while it's under construction, right? We want to do everything we can do behind the scenes before it gets to our members. And so it started with our Legal Shield employees back on August 18th. So our employees, who also are members, um, had the opportunity to download what we call the Reimagine app, which is the under it, what is really is it's our our design app it's our temporary app that allows us to take our regular app and start doing the construction on so we've got this reimagine app i'll show you what that means here in a minute if you haven't done it um but our employees started to do that on the 18th and was able to actually say hey you know what while we're under construction i noticed this wasn't working or hey i think i'm missing this and so then from there, we were able to launch it to our field leadership on August 23rd. Same thing, our field leadership was able to do the same thing. And then September 6th, we were able to actually launch it to us as associates um, and any new network members. Now, what's exciting though, um, is that because of this transition, because of the flow of what we've done, we have really seen a great, success pattern of this go-to market strategy because we're working through things before it gets to all of our network members. And so if you did not receive, and I put this in the training today because I really want you to understand something. If you did not receive an email on September 6th that said you were able to migrate your ID Shield membership, there might have been a few things that uh, you may not be aware is happening. Number one, maybe your identity theft membership or maybe your legal and identity theft memberships are not not attached to your associate agreement. Um, the reason why I put this in here is because all associates, we want to make sure that our memberships are attached to our associate agreement. Um, because while well, number one, it, you would have got the email because you would not only be a member of ID Shield, but you were a member, you were an associate with the membership. And so we could have identified you that way. But the second thing is on the legal plan, especially that if you don't have your legal plan attached to your associate agreement, that's called vesting. So you have sales quota. So you want to make sure your memberships are attached to your associate agreement. And that could happen for different reasons, maybe as to why it's not. Maybe you got your memberships at one time and then you got your associate agreement at another time or you became an associate and got the legal plan, but then got the ID shield plan later and maybe it just didn't attach, right? So you want to make sure that your memberships are attached to your agreement. And the second thing is, it may have been, uh, we may have had an old email address from, from you in, in the past. Maybe you're uh, an associate who's been with us a while and maybe you, you don't use your sexy at hotmail.com email address anymore, right? Maybe you use uh, your Gmail address today. And so uh, maybe our file, our, you know, our, our corporate file maybe has that old hotmail email address. And so what email do you want corporate home office to send emails to you uh, through that, right, that particular email. So make sure that your uh, information is always updated, okay? We did roll out to our existing members September 14th, and all group members will go out September 28th, all right? So what's changed? Well, the look and feel obviously has changed, and we're going to walk through that, but there's been some, there's not a plan change. Don't get me wrong here. I understand this. There's not a plan change, but there's been some feature changes some feature changes so the first thing is we are changing 
our credit score, we're changing that from TransUnion to Experian. So with the One Bureau, the One Bureau will see an Experian change, right? The three bureau, understand three bureau, we do all three credit repositories, obviously TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. But what will change in the three bureau, and there was a little bit of confusion on this last time, so I apologize to that, to you, to those of you that had this question and it wasn't clarified. The only change to three bureau is that your credit score will now be pulled from Experian. Okay, so Experian is the credit score, the credit repository for the credit score. And then also then from credit monitoring, when it comes to credit monitoring, the one bureau is going to credit monitor, right, Experian. The three bureau is going to do the credit monitoring for all three credit repositories. So I want to make sure that's extremely clear. Johnny, was there any questions about that? Um, there was group questions about how, um, if, they, if they have a legacy plan, will they be... Oh. No, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. Okay, so okay. all questions are related to that right now. Okay, well, first of all, all legacy plans are still going to migrate, okay? But the difference in legacy plans and the plans today, so understand, all ID Shield plans, I don't care when they got it. They could have got it the first year we rolled out and never have changed. All ID Shield plans are migrating to the new experience. All ID Shield plans will have the Experian uh, credit report, and for the one bureau, credit monitoring for the three bureau, if they, have the, if they have the legacy plan, probably not a three bureau, right? Because that was not an offering back then. Um, but then the $3 million fraud protection plan. Please understand, family, that for those plans, listen to me carefully, for those plans that currently have the $1 million fraud protection plan, it will increase the $3 million. It has increased the $3 million. It's already there. It's already in place. Now, you say, well, Melissa, I thought all my plans had the, the fraud protection plan. No, your plans have full restoration services. All plans have full restoration services that will do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to get our members back to, to pre-theft status. But not all of our plans, the legacy plans, do not have the fraud protection plan. So you need to know the plan that you actually are talking about. So if your plan currently has the fraud protection plan, right, then in, at $1 million, which obviously reimburses expenses that are obviously stolen or out of pocket because of the identity theft situation. If they currently have the one million, it changes to three million. It's changed the three million, okay? The other thing is on our family plan, we used to have a disclaimer, a limitation disclaimer that we would only be able to monitor up to 10 dependent children from uh, obviously from birth up to 18, because we monitor up to 18, right? 18 to 26, we do not monitor. We do consultation and restoration. So we have removed that barrier. We have removed that 10 dependent barrier. If I'm a member of a family ID shield plan, when I go in, and I'll show you how that works here in a minute, when I go in to actually set up my monitoring, I have a place to do up to 10 dependents on my portal, right? If I invite my spouse, Eddie, to also set up his portal, he also has a place to put up to 10 dependent children. If we have more than 20, well, uh, that's a whole nother conversation. But if we do have more than 20, we can call in and still add uh, additional dependent children if necessary. So that's a good thing, right, that we're able to do this. And then um, we actually had something called a deceased index monitoring, we have greatly enhanced deceased family member monitoring. And we'll talk about that here in a few seconds as well. Now, please understand rates have not changed. This was another question, Johnny, that we kept getting last time, right? Have rates changed because, you know, you've added from 1 million to 3 million. You've taken away the limitation of monitoring to kids. Um, you know, you've enhanced some of the other features. The member journey is so much easier and beautiful to use. The rate plans have not, the rates on the plans have not changed. So the individual is still a $14.95 at one bureau. It's still $19.95 at three. Um, the family is still $29.95 at the one bureau and $34.95 at the three bureau. All right. The dependent coverages have not changed. Now you do see though, under individual, I put three devices and under family, I put 15 devices. 
that's what we cover in Trend Micro in those plans. So I just thought I would add that as some additional training for you here today, just in case you didn't know that when we buy our ID Shield services today, that has our device protection, which is Trend Micro, which is amazing because Trend Micro actually protects the devices that give access to our information, right, to those thieves. So if it's an individual plan, three devices can be covered. If it's our family plan, up to 15. All right. So here's a little side by side comparison for you um, so that you can maybe have a, a quicker, easier look at what's enhancing. So we've already talked about the $1 million, right? So if you already have that fraud protection plan, it's now going to three. It already is three. Um, it's already, it's part of our coverage. So if that's, if that's your plan, if you had 1 million, you now have 3 million. All right, credit monitoring. The 1B plans, as I mentioned, have changed from TransUnion to Experian, all right? The three bureau, remember, we're still gonna pull the credit report from Experian and we're only gonna, and we will do all three credit repositories when it comes to monitoring. The death or deceased family member monitoring previously was called death index monitoring. Uh, there's a whole slide on that. I'll pull that up here in a second. But basically, we've enhanced that to go beyond just doing the National Social Security death index. Um, email alerts and auto monitoring. You know, when our members enroll, our primary member gives us enough information to enroll them in auto monitoring. Okay. So previously, right, our auto monitoring email alerts were sent after the member signs in and creates an account. So if I enroll Johnny today in a membership, I have enough information to monitor his address, his date of birth, his social security number, right? I have some information there to start an auto monitoring, but I actually never sent email alerts to him unless he actually signed in and created an account. Today, the auto monitoring for the member are sent as soon as the member signs up as a member which is great because it's a reminder to them that, hey, hello, we're here. Why don't you go in and set up all your monitoring, right? And then adding a spouse to ID Shield. In the past, the only way we could do that was through the portal. Today, I'm able to actually add or invite my spouse to join through my portal or my mobile app. Once again, giving us a very unified experience through the portal or the app. In the past, ID Shield only English. Today, English and Spanish. Also, our email alert format in the past looked a little generic. It resembled maybe a spam email. Maybe our members weren't sure it was coming from us and does it look like something I wanna click on. Today, they have newly designed that email alert and I'll show you what those look like here in a minute. Also in the past, accessing our credit and dark web monitoring, we had two separate logins. You had to log on to the portal first in ID Shield and then set up a second login through the credit and dark web monitoring. Today, they log into ID Shield and they have access for that credit and dark web monitoring. So, once again, more simplified journey, more simplified member experience. And then accessing Trend Micro was only accessible through our web portal. Today, it's also through our mobile app. And then our portal and mobile apps. Well, the web portal and mobile app had two separate logins and feature experiences. Today, the app has the same login as the portal and the great same new experience, which includes also Trend Micro. So, I mean, family, it, it can't get any better. Well, it can get better, but today it can't get any better than what our team has put together. I mean, kudos to our home office team for doing so much work in a short period of time. Uh, because honestly, you think about when we started to launch this under construction, uh, it really is only it's transitioning within 30 days. And this is a big deal for us. Now, the new deceased family member monitoring. So how this works, our deceased family member monitoring, our identity theft experts will help you report a death to credit, uh, credit bureaus if needed, and then continue monitoring in the future to catch any activity uh, with your deceased spouse or dependent identity. So if you have them on your memberships, right, and there's a death, then we will continue to monitor um, to make sure that we're still safeguarding that identity. So monitoring a deceased spouse 
added to the plan before, right, they're deceased. We'll also include dark web monitoring, social media, or sorry, so, uh, so security monitoring, any court record monitoring, and monitoring of the deceased spouse added to the plan after. We also will give a courtesy of social security monitoring, which is still a great feature because we are going to sign up some people that are widowed, right? The deceased spouse can continue to be monitored for the life of the plan and monitoring of the deceased dependents will also include their social security monitoring. So I, I wanted them to pull this one in because this is a really big deal. As we're talking to our members, we may know that, you know what, they've lost a child or they've lost a spouse. And um, we want to make sure that we let them know that, hey, we still will look out for that information, which could have potential consequences for our member, right? All right, Johnny, any questions so far on what we've covered before we talk about how to get logged in? People want to know for the deceased monitoring, does that member, when they pass away, still need to keep their membership in order to be monitored? Or how does that, how does that part work? So if I'm a member, right, as a widow, then if I come in as a member already as a widow, when I set things up as my ID Shield services, I'm going to be able to put that in into my monitoring. If Eddie and I are obviously as members together and something was to happen, he already was an active member, they're going to continue to member all those things that I just spoke about. Okay, Johnny, does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a what, if they what if What's they that? don't have a spouse? How do they get the other 10? You're talking about if it's a deceased child and they're getting the individual plan? So I'm a single parent. I, you, have to get, you have to get the family plan. Right. If you're a well, parent and you want to cover your children on the plan, you have to get the family plan. Right. But what if I have more than 10 kids? You're going to call in to the member support team and they'll add those ch children to the monitoring. Okay. That There yeah. we go. And That's if you it. have more than 10 kids, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about getting logged in. First and foremost, okay? First and foremost, you must, every member, now listen to me closely, the primary member, every primary member needs to have its own unique email address. You say, Melissa, what are you talking about? So I had a girlfriend that signed up her 80-year-old mother for ID Shield. She used her email address on her mother's. It's the same email address on her ID shield. It will not work. She needs to have a different email address for her mother because the email address is the authenticator for access. It is the primary authenticator that says who I am. So the member must have their own unique email address. Now, if I'm the member and I have my unique email address and I log in and I invite my spouse, when I invite my spouse, I'll use his email to invite him. At that time, I'm authenticating that he's my spouse. So understand, though, the primary member must have their own unique email address. If the same email address is used for multiple memberships, you're going to have to change that duplicate email address. It will complicate the process because the the system won't know who they're authenticating. Like for my my friend, they don't know if they they're they're authenticating Gina or are they authenticating her mother's membership, and it won't authenticate two. So they must have one unique email address. I wanted to make sure I put that out here today because we've went back and forth with how things work when it comes to email addresses. Today, we want you to use the same email address for all of your memberships, okay? So one question I'm seeing over and over again, I figure we might as well get it now, is if the person doesn't have a spouse and they pass away, does the monitoring continue at that point? The person doesn't have a spouse and they pass away. You mean if I'm a member yeah. and an individual member and I... I actually pass away, will it continue monitoring for me? Correct. No, no, no. If my spouse and I were on the membership and I passed away through his membership, could he still monitor for me? Yes. Okay. There has to be an active membership that connects me as a, as a spouse or would connect the child to the primary member. 
Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's talk about getting logged in. We already talked about the member notification of a new mobile app experience, right? It, it's, I'm telling you, it's so beautifully designed. Many of you, most of you probably got this email. Our emails are starting to look like this now. They're not looking like spam. They're looking like a very professional type of email. So they're going to be able to get that notification, right, that they have a new mobile app experience. Now, I want you to understand something. We have our ID Shield app. Okay, it is our ID Shield app. We have what's called today when they got this notification, the ability to go into that app, our ID Shield app. And if they choose to actually use our quote unquote under construction reimagine app during this construction phase, they could download the reimagine app. That reimagine app is not necessary if the member does not want to use the app while everything's under construction. So when you go to your ID Shield app, your core ID Shield app, you'll get this first visual. You know, it says, hey, this app will be updated in a few weeks. It's under construction. If they say they want to download the beta app, which is the reimagine app, the one that gives us all this, the services while our core app is being redesigned, then they can do that, right? They'll go ahead and they can continue through the process and then it's gonna verify who they are through their email address to get them signed in. Listen, we're almost to 10-1. We're only a few short days away. So with that being said, if you haven't done it and you're like, oh, Melissa, should I do it? It's completely up to you if you want to go do it today and be able to obviously get the experience of what it's gonna look like on your regular app come 10-1 because your regular app is going to be the app again come 10-1. But we wanted to give our member, we, can you imagine if we said, hey, our app is down for 30 days, it's under construction, no accessibility to an app. It would freak us out. We'd be like, what are we doing? No, we sell apps, right? I know I hear many of you tell me that. We sell simplicity of authenticating and using our services right through the palm of your hand. So this reimagine app was set up so that we could experience it through this transition, through this construction, okay? So most of us have experienced this already. So if they, the member has a password, so they put in their email address, if they know their password, boom, they put it in and that's simple. Email address, password, they're in the system. They can start experiencing the new look and feel of the services. If they don't have their password, they can simply put forgot password. No big deal, right? And we're gonna be able to send them obviously the reset and get them started. Now, if the email address is not authenticated, this is what I'm talking about here. If the email address doesn't say, hey, that person is a member, right, of the services, then what's going to happen is it's going to tell them email not found. And it's going to ask them to try a different email. So instead of using that Hotmail email, maybe you say, oh, you know what? Maybe I have put on my Gmail address. Or maybe you're thinking it was your Gmail, but you forgot when you enrolled, you actually had it at Hotmail. So maybe you put in your Hotmail email address. But if you cannot get, if it does not recognize and you cannot get through, you're going to have to call in to member services right, to be able to do it, because we have to know what email address. And so they're going to be able to assist you with that. And I'm going to give you the direct numbers here towards the end of the training, so you know exactly where to call in. You'll know exactly where your member needs to call in, okay? We want you to kind of streamline all of these, funnel all these calls to the appropriate either phone numbers or emails, and I'll give you all of those phone numbers and emails towards the end of the training. So if though by chance you got in, it will say, so I knew my email, I knew my password, boom, I got in. I knew my email, didn't know my password, but I reset my password, boom, now I'm in. If I didn't know my email address, then I got my email address, I got my password, boom, now I'm in, right? Verification email is going to be sent to you. So a verification email will be sent to you, you must. You must verify that in order to proceed. 
So if, if I get in, right, my email address, my password, boom, it's going to send me an email notification. It says, this was you, correct? Yes, it was me. I verify it. I'm good to go. All right. Any questions on that, Johnny? Um, yeah, a lot of them. And, and, and they were asking them so early, I can't get back to them. The okay. one question that keeps coming up, though, from the past was if I have a spouse, my spouse dies, can I download, can I switch to the individual version? Or do I have to still keep the family version in order for the deceased monitoring to happen? Okay, family, I'm going to lean in on this, okay? I'm going to lean in this. I covered that slide like eight slides ago. And I covered a lot of information since that is critical for us to get into the app, okay? Um, I understand that you're still having some questions on that one particular feature. But I think you're, think you're, 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 you're just kind of diving in too much at this time and maybe losing some valuable information. This is kind of like, I want to tell you the information, but I get nervous because I'm kind of concerned that if I go down this hole, you're going to focus on two slides versus the whole 60 slides, right? So that particular question is a very unique question. And so I would call into member services because I don't know that if they're going to allow you to actually monitor that under an individual plan. I don't know. But the only reason I'm saying this, Johnny, is because I really want you all to focus on, on the content, right? On the content of which we're, we're talking about here for the next how many slides. All right? Love it. Any other questions, though, that, that were really important questions that I need to address? Because I, I don't want anybody, like, still hanging on a cliff why we need to keep moving forward here. Last question I'll, I'll pull up is people are saying I can log in on the website, but I can't log in on my phone. You can't log in on your phone. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a number here at the end to see why your experiences are different for you. We may have two different email addresses somehow, some way for you in the system because associates, we have multiple email addresses. That happened to me as well. And so they had to unify my email addresses. So I'll give you a number to call in so we can get that straight. And believe me, it's a quick thing. They did mine like in three minutes. Okay. All right. So if we're in, we get account set up, right? We're, we're post the sign in now. We're in. And this is through the, this is going to be through the portal or through the the mobile app experience is going to look the same. If you have never completed the quiz, right, meaning it's first time you kind of already logged in, if you haven't completed that, I say quiz, that's not a quiz, it's a task. <laughs> um, you're not going to pass or fail. Um, it is a task. It's asking you to get to know you a little better. Uh, the reason why it does that is because um, maybe there's some information we can do a push through for you based on who you are, give you some additional information. So they can go ahead and answer these questions. And now our account setup, a member who's enrolled in auto monitoring. Remember when I told you that auto monitoring is when we have just enough information to start that process for our members, but having completely set up everything, okay? And with that being said, what ends up happening is that when they're in, it's gonna say, what is your social security number? So if you're enrolled in auto monitoring, chances are we only have your last four because a lot of times we get the last four. So it's gonna ask for the social security number. Then it's gonna give some knowledge-based authentication questions. I always wonder what KBA is. It's knowledge-based authentication. So it's gonna ask you a few things that would actually connect to you specifically. Like, you know, this one particularly says, uh, what is the monthly payment of your most recent mortgage? Because we know these things because it's in your credit report. Or maybe it says, you know, what kind of vehicle do you drive? And it'll list a few vehicles or list or, or check the addresses that you've lived at, right? Um, that's knowledge-based authentication through your credit repositories, okay? And so once we do that, um, if you answer those questions, you're good to go. If you do not answer those questions, Okay, if you do not answer those questions, you will get a KBA failure, meaning that we cannot authenticate you based on the knowledge-based uh, acknowledgement questions. So you're going to call into customer service at corporate and member services at corporate, and they're going to ask you a few questions to authenticate who you are, and they can unlock this. 
And once again, I'll give you the number to that. This is really safeguarding, right? Our information. I like these, these extra steps that we're doing. And I do this when I go into all kinds of other different apps or online portals as a member. So it's not any different than those, those other companies that are trying to really authenticate who we are. Um, now, account setup. A member who is not enrolled in auto monitoring. Member, remember that um, maybe it's the spouse, right? And so we don't have the spouse's last four and date of birth, right? So instead of just asking for the full nine digits of their social security numbers, we also need to start with two screens and then continue. And so you'll see here, it says add additional information so we can confirm your identity, right? So it's gonna be their name, their address, and then their date of birth, then their social security. So they will have to put in a little bit more information um, than just the member who we already have his date of birth and his address, right? Does that make sense? I'm hoping everybody understands that. So this, the person that we're not already doing the auto monitoring for, they will have just a few more steps so that we can authenticate them, okay? Now, you know what's exciting? Members who are enrolling today, members who are enrolling today, they become a member. They just go to activate ID Shield, right? At login.legalshield.com. And you say, well, Melissa, I thought we were going to accounts.legalshield.com. You can, but then it's going to reroute them to login.legalshield.com. So let's just take that one step away, right? So I become a member today, Johnny. You tell me to go to, and I'm in the system, and you tell me to go to login.legalshield.com. I can put in my email address. I can put in a remind, I mean, sorry, my own new password. I'm going to create my own new password, right? And make sure that email address is what I put on the application. And guess what? I'm in the system. What? <laughs> so a new member today does what? They go to login.legalshield.com. They use the email address that they actually used on the application. They create their own password. Woo! And they are in. They now, under accounts.legalshield.com, can see everything that they do or they have. This particular accounts.legalshield.com is showing that that person is an associate. That person has an identity theft plan. That person has a legal shield plan. That person has a small business plan, right? All right, so with that being said, once we hit that, right, we want to hit view product. So when we're in to login.legalshield.com, we're in now to our member portal, we want to click, do you see where it says view product? So each one of the, the little boxes for the membership have view product. When I hit view product, right, or I can even do this on my phone, right? Um, download the ID Shield mobile app. I can use the same login, same password I used at the what? At the portal, right? And then once I get in, the same thing. We want to click View Product because now you're ready to use your product, and we want you to use your services. We want you to set up all your bells and whistles for the services, right? So any questions on that? Because that part is really critical, Johnny. That part is really critical that members today, so easy. Oh, you're a new member. Great, no problem. Let's go to login.legalshield.com. Let's use your email address. Let's use your email address that we put on the application. Create your password. Now we're into our member portal, right? If it's on the app, no worries, right? No worries, do the same thing. What email address did you do? Create your password. Boom, you're in. If you did your portal already and you already have your password, just go to, to download the app, right? And do the same process. So now we're in. We're in the app. Now we get to start talking about what's in the app. So any questions, Johnny, right now? So does somebody keep putting in there, is ID Show Doc Cloud gone? Yes, don't use it. That was the main question related to that. <laughs> that was a quick answer. That was that was a, a, a quick 
30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> so the new home screen. So we're in. Look at the new experience. Look, look what this looks like. I mean, I just love, love, love the look and feel of this. So we've got right now on our home screen, we've got right there front and, and, and center, we have our Experian credit score, right? We have our Experian credit score. And then we'll also have our identity protection, meaning, and I'll show you each one of these, meaning what are we monitoring? I love this part. What are we monitoring? So we've got our credit score and tracker. We actually have our credit monitoring alerts right there underneath. So imagine as you're looking at these three things, I'm scrolling on my app, right? So first thing right there on my app is my credit score, my credit tracker. If I scroll up, there's my credit monitoring. If I continue to scroll, it's where I can add additional financial related setup. And then underneath is where we tell our members to go so that they can pull their credit, their credit reports. Okay, so that's a page, right? That's the home page. Your credit score, your credit alerts, to set up any of your financial threshold monitoring, you do it right there. And below that, also, as you scroll, I can click on that. It's going to route me to be able to pull my credit reports, right? Because we don't, we don't pull credit reports. Our members can. And so we're giving them the right site to use to do that. Then our next tab is our security tab on, right? So we have different tabs that we can go to. So security, it's our identity dashboard. And I love this because as you can see here, it is telling us how many items we have set up for monitoring. Look, right now for this particular member, we're, we're monitoring their address and their social security. We are monitoring zero bank accounts. We are monitoring zero credit cards. We are monitoring zero driver's license. What? This is a great reminder to our member that, hey, we, we want to do these things, but we're currently not doing these things for you. And right now we're only able to scan two parts of your identity because that's all the information you've given us, okay? So then as you continue to scroll, this is where you're gonna be able to add your reputation management, your password manager, your do your VPN, your anti-malware. You're gonna be able to set up your sex offender monitoring, your social media monitoring, right? The telecom monitoring. Heck, I put my phone number in and I'm blocking on my mobile phone, I am now blocking spam calls. What? This is amazing. And then it's going to give us some additional helpful tips. All of them have additional helpful tips at the end. Okay. The next tab, this is where we add our spouse under account. So you're going to see that you have an account tab, account settings, manage spouse. That's where you're going to go to invite your spouse to be able to have their portal and of course their, their mobile app. So you add the spouse and you send them an email invitation. They, they will get an email that says they've been invited to activate their services. They must do that. Now, monitoring a child, where would you go? Under your settings, under account, under settings, you see where it says update monitored information. This is where you can monitor your children. Okay, this is where you're able to go in and monitor your children. Now, here's what I want you to know. Who can set up a member account on the member portal and the mobile app? The member and the spouse only. Dependent children do not have member portal and mobile app access. You say, well, don't we cover them? Yes, on the family plan, we cover the member, the member's spouse or domestic partner. Oh, I made an error here. And they're dependent children under the age of 18. I need to take that up to 10 off of this one, Johnny. Um, but we also will do consultation and restoration services for dependent children from ages 18 to 26. So we're monitoring those kids up to 18. How do we monitor them? We set them up right here. We put their socials in here, okay? 18 to 26, we don't monitor. 18 to 26, we do what? Consultation and restoration services. So dependent children under 18, we're monitoring. They have no member portal, no mobile app access. 
And you say, well, what about they become 18? Well, remember, we are not monitoring them. They don't have a full account. If they want a full account, they can have one. We can sell them a ID Shield membership. However, if we are we have them on there and we're giving them consultation and restoration services, you're able to give them, the member is able to give them the numbers, right, to call in for that consultation, call in for restoration services, but they do not have a mobile app or member portal experience. And so I wanted to put this on here because I think it's really critical. And forgive me that it says up to 10. As a matter of fact, I am going to take that off right now. While you're taking that off, there's two good questions. One, will there be a demo app for ID Shield so that you could demonstrate it in the future? And two, is there a short video to that is available now? The sizzle video is available right now. It's on prospect. Uh, we don't have a demo app at this particular time. So um, the only reason I wouldn't obviously always recommend us to use our own personal app as the demo is because of a credit score is front and center. Um, so um, if you're not in fear of that, that's the only app that you have as a demo at this particular time, but we do have the sizzle video, okay? But I wanted to make this clear because a lot of feedback we were getting from our members is, well, I can't invite my 18-year-old child to get download the app. Well, they don't. They don't have the ID Shield app. They can have your Legal Shield app, but not the down, not the ID Shield app. Okay. Now, if our members want to leave feedback, we also under our accounts under setting, we have a place called Leave Feedback. So look at when we're under the account. So we're in the account tab of the actual app. Okay, or the portal. Okay. Um, if we're under account, you see where it says most definitely here, especially on the app. Talk to an expert. I'm gonna to talk to you about where, what that means here in a minute because we don't have on the home screen, we don't have that button that says call ID shield, right? We don't have those buttons anymore on the home screen. We have to go to our app, go to account and go to talk to an expert. So it's, it's an extra click, two clicks to get to that phone number, okay? Um, when you click on talk to an expert, you're gonna get that, I'll show you. Your features is your services. Then you can get to member perks right there, right? As well as you can leave your feedback. We always wanna hear from our, our members. So if they clicked on talk to an expert, right here is where you'll see, call your expert, you see that blue button? And beside it, it says call emergency line. So that's the 24 seven access. So you're on your app, click account, click talk to expert. There's your ID shield. There's your emergency access. All right. If they clicked on features, it's going to take them to the features of their benefits. It's going to take them to this particular section. Now, the other thing they can do on their accounts is they actually can set up how they want us to alert them and what they want us to alert them on. So in the settings for the email alert settings, you can turn the emails on or off, whatever your preferences are. So right now, this particular member has their email alert set on all of the different things that we monitor. If they say, oh, you know, I really don't want sex offender monitoring. It comes in too often in my neighborhood. Move. No, I'm just kidding. Um, turn it off, right? Turn it, turn it off if you don't want that. that. Each member individually can set those things up. All right. And of course, this is what our email alerts will look like. Isn't this cool? It's really nice, it's fresh. So our members will hopefully know it's coming to us and we're asking them just basically log in right now and look at what we've caught, okay? What we've, we've found. And if they have questions, there's member services right there, right? It says member services at idshield.com and then they have the phone numbers to call as well. Now, updating and uh, additional monitoring information, when you're in the account tab, where I told you to go when you actually put update the, the um, monitored information for the spouse, I mean, sorry, for the minors, when you're in there, you also can do all of the other monitoring that you need, right? When it comes to um, you know, like your, your personal information, your addresses, your email addresses, your phone numbers, right? All of those things, when you're in that account setting, all those personal things about you, 
that's where you're going to set that up. And you'll notice right now um, they put in a phone number. So right now you can see that we're monitoring their address and their phone number as well. So it, it changed it for, for that member. Now, a lot of you have asked me, so Melissa, $3 million fraud protection plan, what does it cover? Well, right in your app under settings, you see that you'll see that it under the support, there's a box and it says insurance details. There is the insurance details right there on your app. So if you have questions about it, you've got the details right there about what does this $3 million, what does it cover, right? So you can view it right there in your portal, on your app under account support insurance details. Now, we do have a marketing sheet. I've talked to a few of you about, I want this on the marketing sheet. I wanna be able to speak holistically about how with our private licensed investigators, how our unlimited service guarantee to our $3 million fraud protection plan, all those coupled together with a 24 seven access line makes us the best ID shield product out there today in the marketplace. I would not disagree with you. I agree that all of those things make us the best ID shield in the marketplace. And you want to be able to speak to those things completely. So I went into, like I always do, into Alice Engage to resources. And I found this particular ID shield flyer. And this ID shield flyer says specifically on the flyer, the $3 million identity fraud protection plan. It says, if you incur expenses as a result of stolen identity of a stolen identity event, this policy covers lost wages, elder and child care, travel, legal defense fees, and stolen funds via electronic transfers. That is a lot in a very short section of a marketing sheet. If you want the full details, go into the app, go into the portal, and pull up the details. It also talks about our unlimited service guarantee, right? We don't give up until your identity is restored. Our industry-leading licensed private investigators will do whatever it takes for as long as it takes, right, to help recover and restore your identity to its pre-theft pre status. I'd like the way that it's said, because we always say it takes, they'll do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to get you back to pre-theft status. I like how it says to, to help recover and restore your identity to pre-theft status. It, it sounds more comprehensive because it is more comprehensive, okay? So that marketing sheet is accessible. Um, so please make sure you go there and check that out. So Johnny, any questions for me right now before I get into a, a few more questions um, and then we can open it up more broadly, but any questions that we talked about right now that you think we need to address right at this moment? Clarity on um, the number for credit counseling and the things related to that. Say that again. A clarity on the credit counseling. Were you calling for credit counseling? Oh, okay. That is a really good question. Thank you, whoever answered that or asked that rather. So credit counseling, when you go into, forgive me for going backwards here, family. When you go in to talk to an expert and you click on, call your expert, they are the ones that will talk to you about credit counseling and education. That is the number, don't call anywhere else, call that specific number. They are the ones that manage that. Great, great call. And you know what I'm gonna do while we're doing this? So that when this is posted, hopefully it will cover this. It will carry this on there. I'm gonna put on here, credit counseling and education. I could spell right, family. This is exactly where we would go. Great question, whoever asked that. I mean, all questions are good questions. Don't get me wrong. But that really was a good catch. Okay. That would be Millionaire Club member, Miss April Hurst. Well, of course, Miss April Hurst. Great question, dear. All right, let's get into a few more frequently asked questions that Maybe some of you have not asked yet. All right, members that are eligible to upgrade their ID Shield plan will be offered an upgrade, okay? This is what's gonna happen. If you go into your portal and you do not have the new, okay, the new ID Shield plan, today's plan, 
you're going to have a little pop up that says new features available. Okay, y'all see that? It's a little hard to read. I'm even trying to lean in and read it myself. So if our members, right, if you, right, are not, and by the way, this is only for non group members, okay, non group members. So if you have a non group member that goes into their portal, it's going to tell them that there is a newer plan if they're interested. If you have the old plan and you go in and you don't have the new plan, it's going to tell you that there's some additional features, right, that you currently don't have. So what it's going to do if they actually click on that, um, it's going to route them to our uh, member support. It's going to either give them the email address or the phone number. Now, here's how it's going to work. If you have an old legacy plan, you as an associate have an old legacy plan, all right? Um, I think it's the next slide. Yeah, if you have the old plan, you are going to, and you've been an associate for six months. There it is right there in the middle, highlighted in bold, okay, if you will. Um, so here you are, a, an associate. You've been an associate for six months, or you have associates that have been an associate for six months, and they want to get the new ID shield, okay? You can actually go in to Alice Engage, go to resources, go to upgrade your personal membership banner, and upgrade and get credit for the upgrade, you personally. If you have not been an associate for six months, then you can call customer care, right, at 888-494-8519 or email member support at idshield.com. Those are the two, those are really the three ways, right? Do it yourself, call or email. Listen, I highly encourage that if you've been a member for six months, just go in and do it yourself. If you have not been a member for six months, call the person that sold you the ID Shield product, get them to upgrade it for you. All right. Now, if your members, if your members, what happens if one of my members want to upgrade their plan? The members can do one of two things member support at idshield.com or 888 494 8519. Those are the email address and phone numbers that I want you to use all things related to ID Shield. Member services or customer care, 888-494-8519 or member support at idshield.com. As the selling associate, you will get full attribution for that upgrade. You will get full attribution for that upgrade, okay? So don't worry about that. If I have a login issue, Okay, the person that asked earlier, I could get into my portal, but I could not get in my app, right? You have member support at idshield.com or call that same exact phone number. Don't call associate services. Don't call, um, something happened here. Don't call member services. Don't call associate services. Make sure that you are using member support at idshield.com or that toll-free number, okay? Um, how can associates provide, you as associates provide suggestions or feedback? Please send it to e-suggestions, okay? Please send it to e-suggestions. All right. And if you all want to each other, that would be great. Now, as a member, so the member has two apps. We have our core app and we've got the under construction reimagine app. Okay. What happens if one of my members has two apps on the old ID Shield app and the reimagine app? Should they delete one or should you delete one? This was written more for us for members. So we will release a new version of the old app that will become the new app. The beta app, which is the reimagine app that you're using between now and October 1st will no longer be listed in the app stores. So, and for users who have it, uh, we'll do a final update to nudge the users to go back to the original app. So, but members who've never downloaded the beta app, right? But have the original app, 
they will just update the app and it will become the new app. So what does that mean? I've got currently two apps on my phone. I've got my app that's under construction. I've got my reimagine app, which I get to see all the features, play with it, do everything I need to do with it. And then October 1st, I'm going to get a nudge on that, that that will no longer work. I need to use my original app, right? And I'll be able then to update that app. You know how apps sometimes will say, hey, we need you to update the app. And that will be your app. All right. So, Johnny, before I get into any up additional updated marketing sheets and open it up for full questions, any any other questions that I can cover right now that you think I need to talk about? Nothing that you need to talk about right now. Most of what, what I'm seeing now, you've already answered somewhere in the uh, already presentation. Well, if I need to restress those those um, answers with those questions, let me know here in a few minutes. OK, OK. This has been a lot of information, but family, I'm hoping that you really are appreciating this. I mean, I know it, I mean, it's, it's only 30 days, but 30 days without a whole app could be complicated. And then 30 days without even experiencing what the under construction will look like when it's finished and then having a whole new experience after it's been shut down for 30 days. Now you're like, what in the world is this, right? Where do I find stuff? What does this mean? So this has really just been a great go-to market experience. I, I can't thank the home office team enough for, for allowing us to, to have this experience, not only for us, but for our members, but to be, to be able to be part as associates, part of the process of, of even working through this. All right, so updated materials. So pretty much everything that had a picture of our old mobile app should by now have a picture of the new mobile app. Everything that pretty much had the 1 million has already been changed to 3 million. Um, pretty much everything that has had an, ex an exclusion or the limitation of up to 10 has been removed. Um, the death index has been changed to the family member, uh, DC's family member. That's been also taken care of. So pretty much the, 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 all the marketing tools. Now, if you find one, and you're saying, whoa, wait a second, this says something different. It says the old stuff. Just let us know. Just nudge us, right? Just nudge us. I would, I would email that member support uh, email address because the team is working coll collectively from all the different departments on this. We meet at least once a week, if not twice a week, with any updates between the departments on what's happening. We have that new sizzle video I played at the beginning. We have a new ID Shield flat sheet. We have a new ID Shield brochure. I'm going to show you a few of those things. Um, this is actually a new ID Shield flat sheet. I love this, this particular flyer, the way it's laid out. It has a lot of words, but it's not quote unquote wordy. The real estate on these marketing sheets have been used very well. Um, just like the one I shared with you earlier on when it gave a little bit more description on the $3 million and the, um, the uh, unlimited service guarantee. Did you notice how the real estate was used? Um, I think really well and it didn't have a picture across the top because quite frankly they wanted to use that for some of the the important marketing content that we would need in, need in a sales process um so there's that one now i love this this is this is you say what's well, it's laid out weird what's been, it's because it's supposed to be printed off and folded up this is a brochure and so your privacy is your business protecting it is ours Select the, the plan that's right for you. So it says individual, right? And this is family. But I like the back of the brochure where it has all of the bullets of things that we monitor, right? That's, that shows a really comprehensive list of things that we monitor. So when people say, well, you know, Melissa, I have monitoring through my credit card or I have monitoring through my, my financial institution. I'm like, well, what do they monitor? Right? Can I share with you a list of things that we monitor? Very quickly, it's here. It's very obviously an extensive list. And then the inside of the brochure, right? It talks about ID Shield, talks about our privacy management, Trend Micro, our VPN Proxy One, right? The identity consultations. It talks about our proprietary feature, which is our username, password, credentials monitoring. And of course, our password manager talks about the auto monitoring, the full service restoration, the unlimited service guarantee, the identity fraud protection um, as well. Um, just looking to see how that one was worded. And then it gives an example of the app. So this brochure is, 
I love this because, you know, brochures can be funded up trifold, right? Very easy to have, accessible. I mean, I could be standing in line at a Starbucks and somebody could be on risky public Wi-Fi right there and they'd be like, hey, have you ever thought about having something to protect your risky public Wi-Fi usage? Do you have a VPN proxy one or do you have a VPN, I should say, right? That turns risky public Wi-Fi into secure Wi-Fi. I could hand them this brochure very quickly and look, they're looking at just one thing, VPN, and I'm talking about now a true identity plan, all inclusive, right? I love this. I had to bring this in. Those of you that like to do like the place placemat brochures, same thing. They've been updated with a great look and feel. So the sizzle video, sizzle video is out there as well. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing right now, Johnny. And I'm going to see... Okay. Any questions, we have 20 minutes. I'm, I'm so thankful that we still have 20 minutes to be able to talk about any questions that our family has. Now, listen, if, if I've covered it already and you weren't sure, you weren't clear 100% on it, don't be afraid to ask me. Ask me again so that I can actually uh, try to get you the answer. Or if I don't know the answer today, we'll get the answer and we'll go to a Facebook Live and we'll, we'll do an update on a Facebook Live to get you those answers, okay? First question I'll hit is on brochures. People want to know, do you have to print them out and fold them yourself or can you already purchase them? Good question. All I know is I found that on Ellis Engage <laughs> under resources. I do not know if our new, our new store actually does that. I don't know. What I would do if our new store does not, I would print it off. I would take it to my closest Staples or Office Depot and I would actually be able to just have them print it off the way I need and I would fold it. Okay. Um. I'm trying to see because now a lot of questions are coming in. I'm trying to see if they're new or um or different. But I keep getting questions about if somebody dies. <laughs> so I and they keep asking for different angles. If I have a spouse, my spouse dies, and I get a new spouse, are both monitored? Yes. If you have a family plan. Okay. Well, you guys are making this really complicated on yourselves, right? Understand that it's just a, it's a, um, it's a courtesy that we give, right, to our members because they have a deceased spouse or dependent child and they have our family plan. It's just kind of that simple. It really is. So if I'm in conversation with somebody and they say, you know, like they're a widow or they've lost a child. And I say, well, you know, unfortunately, you know, even in those situations, people will use their information. They'll use their information to sometimes get established credit, right? Um, do crimes, et cetera. So with that being said, as a member, our family member of ID Shield, what I love the fact of knowing is that we can monitor those, um, those deceased loved ones, right? as well as our living loved ones with our membership. I, that it, it's about as simple as I can put it. And if they, listen, if they weren't going to be covered on your plan, they're not going to be like, I can't have my grandmother. My grandmother, um, you know, passed, unfortunately, when I was in high school, my graduating year. Um, could somebody be using her information today? Probably. But can I put her on my plan? Absolutely not. She never would have been on my plan in the first place, right? Because we don't put grandparents on our plans. So let's not make it more complicated than it is. I'm getting a lot of, oh, somebody said your hair looks really good, so I'll say that first. <laughs> and then I'm getting a lot of questions about Trend Micro. Okay. How do you connect to Trend Micro? How does it work with Trend Micro? It's easy. When you go into either your portal or to your app, you click on the features of Trend Micro. What are those features? The VPN, right? The cloud-based technology and the password manager. When you click on those, they will ask you to authenticate to be a member of Trend Micro. In the past, you could only do it on the portal. Today, you can do it in the portal and the app, and you're able to set up those bells and whistles, right? on Trend Micro, but you will have a Trend Micro number and a log into Trend Micro as well. The best thing for you to do as an associate, what I asked you to do as an associate, what I asked you to do 
as an associate who would like to make the selling process easier is for you to set up your own. If you set up, if you have the most updated ID Shield product and you set up all your bells and whistles, by doing that, you're going to be able to explain the experience without textbook knowledge. You're going to be able to explain the experience through your experience, right? And so that's the best way. And I, I, I can't stress enough that it's critical that you do that so that you're experiencing everything that you're trying to tell the member that they will be experiencing. Here's a question I don't know before I ask the other question. Do I or corporate get PC points and commissions uh, for my members who choose to upgrade their accounts with the pop-up prompt when they call in? The selling associate of identity theft, the ID Shield product, will get the, the commissions, if, if the PC, if the whole attribution goes to the associate. Not the sponsoring associate who recruited them, not the selling associate of Legal Shield, but the selling associate of the ID Shield product. Right? So I want to make that clear because they could be different people, right? You could have recruited them, but somebody else sold them the membership. You could have sold them the, the legal plan and somebody else sold them the ID Shield plan. So whoever sold them the ID Shield plan, they would get the credit. So for everybody that asked this question, the deck that she uses is not available. However, the training will be available in the back office in Ellis Engage under the training tab under Masterclass. Right. And we currently are working on some PowerPoints that will have some of this in here for you. But this was designed as training, right? This was not designed as prospect facing. This was designed for me talking to you. So, Eddie, you can't get the slides, but the training is available in LS Engage under the training tab under Masterclass. All of the Masterclasses are housed under LS Engage under training. Trend Micro, the question I see on um, Trend Micro, there's stuff on Trend Micro in LS Engage um, on the training tab. And there is also in the, um, the um, app, the PPLSI prospect app. There are information on Prost, on um on Trend Micro, so you can go to both places and find are information. They ask, that. Are they asking to access it? Or are they asking for understanding it? Some some questions are asking for you know like how do you change stuff in the VPN, um things like that. So some are asking very specific, some are asking general. So you know, so I, I'm a I'm I'm a computer type of gal when I'm setting things up, right? I'm not the app experienced person, but you can do it on both now. But I just know that through my experience that when I was setting up my VPN, it was very easy for me when I clicked on, obviously the link for VPN, it was very easy for me to click on it, log into Trend Micro and follow the steps. Just like we're setting up all of our other monitoring Trend Micro is part of the monitoring. It has its own line items. Now to learn about those things, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, go back into the sales masterclass. Uh, a few months back, we did one to some, to something called how to effectively market or how, how to effectively understand or market the ID Shield product. It, one of those titles, you'll, you'll see it. It was just a few months ago. We get into a deeper dive of the product. So if you want to learn more about the product itself, please go back into that, that training and check it out. Okay. So some of these questions I've already asked, but people keep answering. So I guess they want to hear from you. Can your parent be your dependent on ID Shield? No. No. How does it work? Even on our legal plan. All right. So we can cover our member our member spouse or significant other. There's a word or there, right? We can cover their never married children, never married children up to the age. And I didn't say like married, divorced, and now not married. Never married children up to the age of 26. Living at home or full-time college students. We can also cover any dependent child up to the age of 18 who the member has legal guardianship of. Or, or and, we can cover any physically or mentally challenged child, regardless of age, living at home, financially dependent on their parents. Those are the people that we cover. 
How we cover them, obviously, is slightly different between the Legal Shield and the ID Shield plan, right, in terms of where they fall into coverage. However, that's all we have. If I want my mom, if I want my mom to have, or my dad, unfortunately, mom uh, passed um, a few months ago. So if I wanted my dad to have the coverage, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a prime example, my life experience. I wanted to actually, while both of my parents were living with me, be able to speak to an attorney on their behalf. I wanted to be able to speak to their doctors, to their pharmacy. I wanted to be able to take care of all the things that, that was necessary. My mom and dad had to be a member. I had to be a member. My mom and dad used their law firm to get the powers of attorney and everything necessary for me to act and speak and do on their behalf. Correct? So I could use my membership to talk about myself as the person that was responsible for their care and what my rights were. I could speak because they had their own membership. I could speak on their behalf because of their powers of attorney to the attorney about their particular rights. All right. ID shield. If I want my parents to have monitoring, if I want my parents to have restoration services, can I purchase an identity theft plan for my parents? Yes. But they cannot be added to mine. In order to speak on their behalf when it comes to an identity theft issue, I need to speak to my attorney about which power of attorney that I need. And their attorneys with their plan needs to actually create that power of attorney. It's no different right, than what I explained of how I set that up for my parents. So I'm not really sure about this question because I, they're saying, are you going to do one like this for small business? And I don't know if they mean for the business owners, employees, or they mean have an ID show product for business. And we don't have well, one. Whoever for asked that right question, now. whoever asked that question, redefine your question. If you're talking about, am I going to do a sales masterclass for small business? We've done one. And yes, we'll do it again. Remember my wheel of opportunity? We will be covering... Uh, in that wheel of opportunity, we will be covering each one of the spokes to include even the wheel, right? We'll, the, the center of the wheel, which is recruiting, we will be covering um, each one of these spokes in the sales masterclass. So today we're looking at ID Shield. Uh, what are we doing next month? I'm not sure yet, um, but let's just say it's small business um, or maybe, hey, you see where it says legal plan supplements and the legal plan supplements. Maybe we would cover ride share, the gun owners, the trial defense, the trial defense for business, right? The business plus supplement. Those are all of our supplements. So yes, we, we will continue to do that. And if, if you have not been to our trainings before, please make sure you, you go into uh, Ellis Engage, go to training, click on sales masterclass, and you'll see an archive list of, of these classes um, that we've done over the last year and a half. So question restated, will we again have ID Shield for business to sell as a product where we get a commission? So understand that ID Shield for business is no longer a product that we market. ID Shield for business really was a cyber security protection plan that we marketed uh, with a third party. That relationship has severed months back, months and months back. Um, so currently we do not have a plan that's specifically ID shield or cybersecurity related to a business owner. Can we offer these plans to the business owner for themselves? Yes. Can we offer these plans to their employees through the employee group process? Yes. Do we have something specifically for the business at this time? No. So um, I saw a question about login.legalshow.com. It's taking the place of accounts.legalshow.com or is that well, just for logging people in? If you go to accounts.legalshield.com, it will forward you. It will automatically redirect you into login.legalshield.com. So why go ahead and have that redirect? Why not just go straight directly to the source? Just in case that redirect doesn't work for whatever matter, right? And so you're going to see more of login.legalshield.com. So accounts.legalshield.com is going away. It's there. It just redirects you. Okay. And just in case a redirect is gone, why not just go straight to the source? The new IDS. 
I understand in the past we had multiple things that were actually redirecting. We're trying to get some of those redirects gone and go direct to the source. Okay. The new ID shield experience video doesn't include the option to share social media. I'm assuming that will be added later. Is that correct? Say it one more time, John. The new ID ID shield um experience video doesn't include the option to share to social media. I'm assuming that will be added later. Is that correct? I'm sure it will. I understand that we're still in construction phase. So I'm sure once we get everything launched and we're like, woohoo, it's October 1st, we are good to go. I'm sure you're going to see a lot more of, of those things coming up. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and I can't thank you guys enough for your patience and, and in, in this whole process, because, you know, we have an army of associates out here and, you know, and we all have different likes and different ways of doing business, you know, our business and, you know, all those things. And so, you know, for us to be uniformed and, and really go through this, I don't want to say without any issue, but very minimal and to get really good feedback or to really work with us in terms of email in the right place, calling the right place, right? Doing the right process, testing these things out. This has been wonderful. Um, I know Mr. Self is driving and I don't know if he wants to say anything about that process, but I mean, to be included in the process and have the ability for us to actually really embrace this and understand it's necessary, but to really start getting excited about going out there and selling it. I mean, I'm, I can't, I can't be more happy about that. And in the same way with, with the team. While we wait to see if he unmutes, I've had this question a lot through all day. Why is the VPN offerings from Trend Micro for PCs only for Windows 11? Um, I That's don't my know. expression too. I, I don't, I, I, I guess because, well, I, I can, how about this? I'm going to tell you what I was informed because I had to upgrade mine. Okay. So I, I'm not giving you any kind of quote unquote professional um, answer. I'm giving you my experience is because of the securities that I needed to have with Trend Micro had only, it was only in that version. And that's why I had to upgrade. Previous versions are not as safe as what, what that version is. So that, that was the explanation that I got. I don't know. So I upgraded and I feel safer. Um, I also was offered, I was asked um, why we can't run another antivirus software while we're using our Trend Micro. Uh, that's a question for Trend Micro, but I would assume because um, it needs to have control of the whole process of monitoring. And having two on there could probably be complicated. So, but once again, I can't give that professional opinion. I can give you just my assumption on that one. And not not that I'm a professional, but it will look at the other one as a virus because it takes on virus characteristics. That's why you, why you typically can't have two. And I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> And somebody else put that in the chat as well. I know that, that it looks like a virus, so then they're fighting each other. Well, we have two minutes left, so if there's any other questions we can address about the ID Shield um, product or the ID Shield experience. And listen, um, we read these, we read all of your your chats. Um, I take the time to read every question. I take the time to read every comment. Um, we take your feedback very seriously. Um, so thank you for, for that support. It helps us also understand whether or not these types of trainings uh, are effective. Um, so, or what we need to train on in the future because maybe there's some confusion or if I see enough of the same question and I don't feel like it was addressed appropriately, it will give me the ability to say, hmm, I think I probably need to jump on a Facebook Live and clean that mess up or confusion up a little bit, right? So, um, and by the way, when we did the launch on September 5th, our corporate staff, the IT team, the marketing team, the whole team that was working together on this, they were on the training and they read all your chats. Um, and so um, I'm sure in the future, they'll, they'll continue to do that as well. So once again, everybody working collaboratively from the home office to the sales field, 
um, from, you know, associates that's been in the business 20 plus years to associates that's been in the business for two days, us working all together. I think, I think we're starting to have a really great system of communication. I feel great about it. I feel great about it. So any last question before we wrap this up today? One, but somebody are coming in now. There was one I thought. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. I know people are asking for trainings on the different things like the new um, ID Shield experience and Trend Micro and like that. So I know we will have trainings for this particular one after it launches October 1st, correct? Yeah, well, you know, right now, I just wanted to kind of get you guys through the through the process, right? Get you through the process, get you to understand what it looks like, some of the enhanced features, um, I know that at, going through the questions, I, you know, I could clearly see that there was a little confusion on the three bureaus. So I wanted to clean that up, clean up the rates because there was questions about that. It could be covered. Yeah. You know. So that tr that's why this training was a second training, adding some additional things to it, being able to slow down and talk to you a little bit more in depth. But yeah, there'll be more trainings. There'll be more marketing, more video, more support. Absolutely. All right, family, so it is 11.30 Central. Um, I appreciate your 90 minutes. I told you these 90 minutes would go by fast, and they did. Um, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Uh, don't forget, there's a few things that, <clears throat> a reminder, gentle reminder and nudge. Um, we have a full service leaderboard out there today, a brand new leaderboard. Um, that leaderboard is now reflective of all your premium sold times your network recruits, your times your recruits, I should say. Um, and the reason why I said networks because it's not for GA and broker recruits, right? Um, but this full service leaderboard gives us 50 additional spots to Jamaica. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Read the details on it. Um, also understand we have a fly-in coming uh, October 3rd in Dallas. Could get there. Oh my goodness, get there. It's gonna be a great event. Um, and think about making sure that you close the month strong. There are a lot of people in our community, a lot of people in our communities that don't know we're here. They don't know we exist. We gotta get out there and educate them on who we are and what we do. We gotta get out there and let them know that, you know what, they're walking around vulnerable to identity theft, the very complicated, scary world of identity theft. And we have, the most comprehensive identity theft market uh, uh, product in the marketplace. Not only do we monitor your digital DNA and beyond, not only do we help you in monitoring your online social media footprint, not only do we help you with your privacy management, not only do we help you with complete restoration services for any type of identity theft, no matter how it manifests itself, that we have a $3 million fraud protection plan and a unlimited service guarantee. But we also protect the devices that give the thieves access to our information. What? Absolutely. It's insane. They just don't know what they don't know. Let's get out there and share it with more people. Have a great weekend, okay? Take care. Johnny, thank you so much for today. Appreciate it.